Hello, I'm Beth Wagner, physical therapist. In this video, I'm going to show you nerve glides to release peroneal nerve entrapment. I'll start with a brief overview of peroneal nerve entrapment, including symptoms and causes, and then we'll jump right into the nerve glides. The peroneal nerve is a branch of the sciatic nerve that starts in the back of the knee, wraps around the outer part of the knee, runs down the outer lower leg, and behind the ankle into the foot. Now the nerve could be pinched, compressed, irritated, or inflamed anywhere along its path. The most common place of entrapment is the lateral knee, where the nerve wraps around the head of the fibula bone. This can occur in a sporting injury or a motor vehicle collision where there is sudden and strong impact to this area of the leg. It can also occur from sustained pressure such as crossing the leg or other positions where there is pressure right on this outer part of the leg. Symptoms include numbness, tingling, pain, and weakness in the lower leg and the ankle running down into the foot. Among the many possible options for treatment of a nerve entrapment, this video is specifically focused on using nerve glide exercises. Nerve tissue does not like to be stretched and pulling on both ends of the nerve at the same time does not help to relieve a pinched nerve. Instead, nerves respond well to flossing or gliding, which is to move one end of the nerve at a time, to gently mobilize the nerve along its pathway, and to free up the area of constriction or compression. These movements are performed gently with smooth and slow repetitions. There is no hold involved. Mild discomfort and numbness and tingling are common while performing the movements. These sensations should not be severe and they should dissipate within a couple minutes of completing the exercises. During the flossing movement, if numbness and tingling becomes severe, then stop the exercise, shake it out, and rest. After the numbness and tingling completely go away or return to your baseline, then try the exercise again with slower movement and not going quite as far into the range of motion. See how your body is able to handle that, and once you get used to the movement, then continue building up repetitions. These movements should not be painful. If pain occurs, stop the exercise and rest. When you go back to trying the exercise again, be sure that you're performing it properly. Start with a slow, small range of motion and build up gradually. For best results, perform these exercises one to three times a day, depending on how well your body is tolerating the movement. Start with as many repetitions as you can handle and gradually build up session by session. You might start to notice some decrease in symptoms as soon as the first session or the first few sessions, but lasting improvement typically requires consistent daily performance for about six to eight weeks. I'll be demonstrating these movements lying down. Nerve glides can also be performed sitting or standing up. However, I find them to be most beneficial and easily tolerated lying down, where there's less compression through the lumbar spine. We will start the nerve glides with movement at the ankle, then move up to the knee, and finally the hip. Use a long strap, belt, or rope to get the most out of these exercises. Lying comfortably with your legs straight out. Bend your ankle so your toes go up toward the ceiling and then turn your foot inward so that the bottom of your foot is pointing inward. Pause and then relax to the starting position. Make sure you to keep your knee straight. It might help to activate the muscles in, in the front of your thigh, the quadriceps, and your gluteal muscles in your buttocks to keep your knee fully extended. Oh, bend your ankle up and then turn your foot so that your toes are pointed toward the ceiling and the sole of your foot is pointed inward. Pause and relax and repeat. Bend your ankle so your toes are pointed up, foot rolled in. Pause and relax. Pause and continue bending your ankle and foot, and then relaxing. Pausing for about a second, and continue. Bending your ankle and foot with slow, smooth movement. Perform 10 repetitions, or as many as you feel comfortable to start with. The next nerve glide will add flossing at the knee. 
bend your knee and hip about 90 degrees and wrap the strap around the ball of your foot. Use the strap to support your foot as well as to guide the motion. Now point your toes up toward the ceiling and turn your foot in, similar to the first nerve glide we did. Now straighten your knee a little bit. Pause at the top and lower to the starting position. Use the strap to support your foot and to guide the motion. Bend your ankle, toes pointed toward the ceiling, and turn your foot. Keep this gentle. Only move your ankle as far as you feel comfortable going. Now maintaining this position of your ankle and foot, straighten your knee as far as you feel comfortable, pause, and then lower. Pause at the bottom, and then straighten your knee again. Pause at the top, and lower. Continue straightening the knee and bending the knee for 10 repetitions, or as many as you feel comfortable to start with. If you need to take a break, that's just fine. Go ahead and lower your foot, shake it out, rest for a moment, and then return to the exercise and complete the repetitions as you can. The last nerve glide will include movement at the hip. Now with the strap around the ball of your foot, straighten your leg out. With your knee straight, but not locked out or not hyperextended, just straight. Just as we did with the first two glides, bend the ankle and rotate your foot so that the sole is faced inward. Now from here, use the strap supporting your leg to cross your leg over your other leg, moving just as far as you feel comfortable going. Pause and then come back to the starting position. Pause and cross over again. Pause and come back. Continue with slow, smooth motion. And this nerve glide is much more intense than the first two, so you might not be moving very much to start with, and that's just fine. You also might have your leg a little bit lower, down here, and that's just fine. Experiment with the position of your leg up and down and experiment with how far you cross your leg over. Continue 10 repetitions or as many as you feel comfortable to start with. If you need to take a break, release the strap, stretch your leg out and shake it and rest for a moment. When you're ready, return to the glide and complete the repetitions, as many as you feel comfortable doing. All right, that wraps up the nerve glides for peroneal nerve entrapment. I hope you find these nerve glide techniques helpful for decreasing symptoms, getting you back on your feet so that you can enjoy your everyday activities to the best of your ability. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I'm able. Here's to your healing, health, and happiness. Have a wonderful day.